And the building's been here since 1907. Over the last 30, 40 years, it's probably been best known as a pub and a live venue. You know, it's a small venue, 250 main room, 150 small room. I mean, Ed Sheeran has done three gigs here. My name is Adam Regan and I have been running the Hare and Hound since April 2007, so that's nearly seven years now. The building that's here now was built in 1907. There's a lot of history, a lot of stories about who ran it and I think it used to be managed by a police officer or an ex-police officer, so I think for many years it was seen as a policeman's hangout. But over the last 30, 40 years it's probably been best known as a pub and a light media venue. When we took the venue over, it was very run down. The pub itself was a traditional sort of old man's pub, and it was before the smoking ban, so it used to be a thick blanket of smoke. I drink to remember, I smoke to forget. And you'd have the same amount of people in at 10 o'clock in the morning as you would at 10 o'clock at night. They would just stay drinking mild and bitter and watching the racing on lots of screens around the pub. There was about 10 fruit machines and it was cheap. It was, you know, £2.50 a pint. So we had to spend a lot of money on getting it up to scratch and relaunching it as a serious live music venue. Um, and it's taken a number of years to really establish itself. We have a wide range of people that come and use the, the pub and the venues. I mean, mainly because of diversity of the area. King's Heath and Moseley are very very diverse areas. There's a lot of what you class as young cool kind of music heads. You've also got a lot of sort of teachers, creative arts people and there's also still quite a strong working class area so you, you have a lot of tradesmen that still drink in the pub after work. You get all sorts really. It's a real nice mix and obviously the shows bring different crowds for each show. I mean, we, we do 14 plus shows now as well, so you often get 14, 15 year olds coming to see bands right the way through to sort of people in their 60s that come and see bands. Uh, so it's a diverse mix. But we've had all sorts. I mean, Ed Sheeran has done three gigs here, I think, before he was the superstar that he is now. He came and played for one of our bar staff actually, a girl called Jodie Ann Bickley, who has just released a book called One Million Lovely Letters. She used to do a night called Speak Up, and it was a poetry spoken word acoustic night. And she was friends with Ed through the circuit in London and playing various gigs. So he came up before he was famous and did, I think he did a big gig, a gig in the big room, and then a little gig in the small room, and then came back and did a show with Free Radio, a secret gig when he was actually really famous, so he's been here three times. But there's been so many memorable gigs over the years, it'd be difficult to really sort of pinpoint one. We do training within the building, in the main room. Basically, a small course, four or five people on each course, where you can come and learn how to be a sound engineer. They get to learn on a you know, state-of-the-art digital desk, they get the experience of actually working on a live show, loading, seeing how the shows work, and they leave with a qualification then, which and, and a few of the people that came on the course now actually work as a venue of sound engineers. So there's been some good output, as they, as they like to call it. So, yeah, it's been beneficial.